my name is uh, Arjan of the Greenhouse Seed Company. I'm going to introduce you now to one of the really nice outdoor plants we have and also is very good for indoor. It's um, Himalaya Gold, it comes from uh, Nepal. We are also again in the second week and this is one of the fastest growing. And in week one it went to 14 centimeters and in week two it already went to 36 centimeters. Here we use a pH of 5.5 and an EC 1.4 and the day temperature we keep on 25 and a night temperature on 19. We grow in an 85 liter container uh, so we have a big base for the roots and we're going to follow also this plant for the next 10 weeks and here also one of my personal favorites the himalayan gold the name says it already this one comes from nepal out of the himalayas it grew from 36 to 62 centimeters actually the fastest growing indica we have at the moment very very nice taste i never entered it in the high times cup but it's a fantastic plant it's nice to smoke it gives it a nice high and also this plant we're going to follow for the next 10 weeks. In front of us is the longest Indica. It's the Himalaya Gold. We are also here with this plant in day 29. So the last five days the time is here on 12 hours, the lamps. So the last week it was basically half on growing and half on flowering. And still it grew 27 centimeters. It has the widest leaves of all our varieties within the Green Seed Company. Look how wide they are. 6.1 centimeters wide and 21.5 centimeters long. What we're trying to do here in the Greenhouse Seed Company is also with the Indicas to show you how you can get the best result out of one plant. One of the few things we do here is cut down the low branches. First of all, we want to have a nice airflow under the plant. Second of all, we don't want animals to crawl up. And third of all, we want to kick out the growth into the height. And the bigger the plant is, the more energy it has to grow also into the top. And within two weeks, the plant will understand that the change is time and now because of the time change, it will also realize that it has to put its production into the flowering of the top buds and not into the growth. Only this last week it grew 28 centimeters, even in flowering still. You can see the first white hairs popping up. I put them around my nail. You can see them right there. What you can see for this plant, what's so remarkable is that even the branches here on the top are really thick. Okay. So a lot of nutrients, energy goes up to the plant. If you look at the internodes of this plant, if you come close to this plant, you can look at the internodes, they're pretty far up each other, almost sativas, but you can see on the leaves that it's an indica plant. As you can see, the plant is already full of flowers. The calyxes are coming together to form the buds. There is still no visible resin at the moment, but it will come in a week or two. The leaves are huge. Now I'm talking about two and a half inches, almost three inches leaflet. This is ridiculous. It's like a fan leaf. It's like you can make wind with this. The plant is now boosting. We give the plant 5.9 pH and an EC of 1.7, 1.8. We're rising little by little to the 1.9 target for this indica. That's going to maximize the absorption of phosphorus and potassium for the flower production. The plant is very green. She doesn't miss any feeding. She's uh, boosting and uh, she's showing that the structure is very particular. It's a structure where all the branches shoot vertical up and it produces huge scholar. It's a commercially speaking, it's a very interesting plant because you can really see that each one of the lateral colors is going to grow in a similar pattern of the main color of the plant. So uh, very uh, interesting for commercial growers. I'm going to now leave the word to uh, Arian, the king himself, and to Steve from uh, High Times Magazine and the Cannabis Cup. This plant, the Himalaya Gold, I already have uh, 14 years, I think, in my seed bank. And we start selling that in 90... Ooh. I think 95 already and um, it was one of the first seeds we had in the greenhouse seed company. We never entered the cannabis cup with it because uh, it's not yet time for this kind of plants. And we had all the heavy indicas, the skunks, then after the white widows, the white sharks, then after the hazes. Uh, and uh, I don't think yet people understand how beautiful this plant is to grow and how beautiful it is to smoke. So actually this is one of the few plants of the greenhouse, maybe even the only one of the old ones that we never entered in any cup. Uh, we are now at the High Times 2004 Cannabis Cup. We took our time to sneak uh, out from the Melchweg, from the crowd, and come here to the breeding facilities to show you one more time the development and the progress of one of our joy and uh, pride, the Himalaya Gold. This beautiful plant, look at the shape of it, it's incredible for an Indica. This is a very uh, typical plant from the North India and the Nepal region. It's very accustomed to cold nights. It's a very strong plant, good for outdoor growers. Really good for a, a continental climate outdoor growers, like uh, middle of the States and uh, Canada and uh, Central Asia and uh, these areas where you got good sun, 
you got good summer, but you got cold nights. Uh, we keep the pH at 5.8, 5.9 on this variety. Uh, we uh, give an EC, a pretty high EC of 1.7, 1.8. We flush with a 1.3 solution, 1.3 EC, and a 5.5 pH. And we uh, take samples of the outcomes of flushing to uh, check out the salt build up in the medium. We want to prevent too many salts from uh, sneaking in your medium and, uh, and staying in there because then uh, nutrients will not be absorbed and the plants will intoxicate. And uh, remember, in, in a hydro, you have no buffer from the soil. You have to take care of what you do. You have to know what's going on down there. Don't just look at your plants. Know what's going on down there in the root system. I'm really uh, happy to uh, leave the word now to Arian, the king of cannabis, the man who traveled the world to find uh, the seeds that gave birth to these genetics and uh, to his uh, special guest today here at our breeding facilities, the editor of the Japanese magazine, Buster High. And right in front of us, Himalaya Gold. This one from Nepal, wow. up in the mountain, yeah. two and a half thousand meter high, very high plant. This is our highest indica we have, but very beautiful growing for indoor. Um, our voices are a little bit gone because we are during the Cannabis Cup now. Day three of the Cannabis Cup. We've got the Japanese magazine here, Buster High. They're checking out all the plants. And uh, feel already, Max, look. Go like this, go, go. Go a little bit more. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Only 21 days. Yeah? yeah? But this one goes six weeks more. Mm. In six weeks, mm. Boom. This one is very nice. Eh? Look at this plant. Amazing. This is the only plant I've never entered in the cannabis cup. But look, this is the Himalaya gold. Oh, I you, love it. You smoked that in Switzerland, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually oh, raised that. Don't you remember that? Best outdoor. It really, it, 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 it tastes a little bit like Charles when you smoke so it. You really smoke. taste the Nepal bed. But look how the colors grow. This is only 17 days in flowering. Look how the colors are. And this will be a great outdoor plant, by the way. Yeah? Oh yeah, there look. was, it was tremendous outdoors. Did you have it? Yeah, yeah you yeah, do I it? Did it? I did it two because years in a row. You know, look, the cola. Oh, I was fit, getting, you know, for the air and stuff. Oh, like I got that. a pound and a half, two pounds of plant. Yeah? No problem. Right in front of me, this plant will be very, very famous in a few years, worldwide, because we spread out 10,000 seeds. And look what a big bud already in the top. What a structure. And the crystals. Beautiful, beautiful colas all the way around. Very, very good outdoor plant, very, very good indoor plant. Technically, we uh, keep this plant also on a, a 5.7 pH and a 1.8 EC. We can kick the EC a little bit higher than we sativas. This plant can really take it at the moment. We flush every week, 5.5 pH and a 1.3 EC. Make sure no salts are sneaking in our medium. And uh, she looks pretty damn happy. Look at it. In front of you, the famous Himalaya gold. And if you smell it, yeah, you can't, you can't breathe. It's like nearly charas. Mm -hmm. eh? Look at the crystal production on this plant. It's really fantastic. It's, it's a structure and a particular look for, for an indica, but such an effective solution for outdoor. It's unbelievable. This plant, when you give them the, the proper room and the proper feeding, they will go up, up to the sky. It's unbelievable. But if you see also how they build up now, all those little beautiful leaves around this yeah, yeah. plant, everywhere, everywhere there's space so for the colors to develop. Many people in the world got seeds of these plants for free at one point. We're not going to say at one point, but everybody knows what I'm talking about. This is the Himalayan gold. Never entered any cup, but if you want to grow a plant with seven main colors, this is the way to go. Look here. Seven plants in one. Seven <laughs> plants in one. The plant is only 180. It's pretty short. Look at the leaves, the really indica leaves here. Look at this. Yeah. But if you see all the colors are forming so nicely on this plant. And so heavy. It's I don't know how many yield is coming off of this plant, but um, I don't know. It's going to be big. It's going to be really big. I would advise every grower in the world, especially the outdoor growers, because for outdoor, this is also a remarkable plant. We saw this plant growing in Spain, and it was unbelievable. Um, many yield, nice crystal production, and fast. Eh? If you would have an emergency situation, you could harvest it already. You don't want to, but it could, could be. We are in day 57, the beginning of week nine. This plant uh, is already nearly finished. As you can see, the brown hairs are everywhere into the crystals. Uh, it's hard, it's dense, beautiful crystal production. At the moment is uh, kept at a 5.8 pH, 5.7, 5.8, and an EC of 1.7, 1.8. You can take a lot of feeding, it's a big plant. It's a fast plant also, but at the same time with a really, really efficient metabolism. 
you can see still no deficiencies, still really green towards the end of the flowering. Very, very good results. We are week 10 with the famous Himalaya Gold. What you see here is the most beautiful indica in the world. We've been following this plant for 10 weeks. We're going to harvest it now. It's exactly 10 weeks. As we said before, we could have harvested two weeks earlier, but yeah, what can we say more about this? Look, all those nuggets here and here. And it's they all, all want to be the biggest. And they all want to be the biggest. Yeah, this is a great, great outdoor plant and it's a great, great indoor plant. You can really smell like the Himalaya, like the Charas. It's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. chocolate. I smell yeah. chocolate. And uh, we're going to manicure it now. And uh, this is a very, very high yielder. I think we're going to hit 200 grams with this one. And I think if you can go outdoor with this plant, you can easily go up to three, four meters and get like a kilo of this plant. If you don't get a pound of weed with a plant like this outdoor, there's something wrong with what you're doing, I tell you. This is a pleasure to grow. It's a quite easy plant. It doesn't require too much extra care, too much tricks with feeding. It grows steady, good metabolism. It absorbs nitrogen really fast. It stays really green. It's very, very pleasurable to grow and it gives results that really satisfactory. I mean, this is a side branch for God's sake. It's beautiful. a while they will seem quite like this though. yeah outdoor you get buds this big easily uh, with big plants outdoor no problem but to get these buds in this setting it's really amazing it's beautiful indoor this is remarkable um, to get buds uh, like this unbelievable so we have manicured after 50 minutes the himalaya gold one of the biggest indicars available smells cr incredible well here you can see all the buds uh, i think indoor already this plant has like 200 grams we don't even know we're going to cut it down and see how much we're going to have. Seven, eight ounces for sure. A famous plant for the future and a very, very good yield for in and outdoor worldwide. Many people in Spain grow this plant. They love it there. And uh, it never entered any competition. But it will. But maybe we'll enter it one day soon. We've got so many nice varieties to try out. But look, the main cola here, we haven't manicured yet. And you can see all the other colas. Here's a nice one too. Look, They're all big. They're all massive. Yeah, what can we say more? This is it. Look, they're all fighting to become the biggest. And they're all the biggest. They all look a little bit the same. 